Hi everyone, it's David from Tackle Share again, and today's all about fish species is the Chinook salmon. So again, we're gonna go from the nice, beautiful, warm water fish wall, past the big pillar, and into the cold water section. There's the coho we've talked about before, and right beside it is the beautiful Chinook salmon. So let me get set up and we'll go from there. All right, so another fantastic cold water fish to catch in Ontario is a Chinook salmon. It is one of the bigger fish that you can catch in Ontario, and you're looking at the record fish caught in Ontario, replica of it. So this would, there wouldn't be a fish any bigger, and if there is, you're gonna get the record when you catch it. So here's a few things about Chinook. In order to identify them, they again, like trout and salmon, have that large, elongated, streamlined body, They've got a dark colored back and bright silver sides. Again, you can see the difference in here, a dark back and then a silver, nice silver shiny side. During spawning, males become dark olive brown to purple in color. And the hook on their mouth, again, will be a little more pronounced. This one does have a hooked snout. So again, this would be a, a male in front of us. The key ID features to identify Chinook are the numerous small dark spots on its back and sides, so you can see the, the spots along its back and side. And that it's got spots all along the tail. So the whole tail, top to bottom, has spots. Compare that to the coho, which I'm going to reach. Again, coho only have spots on the top of the tail, not the rest. So fully spotted tail, Chinook. Its gums are black, so you can see the black gums around its mouth. Coho have white gums. And the inside of its mouth is black, which is kind of hard to see with the shading. Like Coho, Chinook are found in all five Great Lakes. They were introduced from the Pacific Ocean in the 1800s. Most of its life is spent in deep open water, only returning to rivers to spawn, very much like the coho. Chinook fish mature between ages four and five and return to spawn in late August to mid-October. The female lays eggs in a hollowed out nest near riffles and once fertilized, covers them with gravel. Again, very similar to the coho. Chinook salmon also die shortly after spawning. So their lifespan includes being an egg, going into a fry, getting out into the open water, growing as big as they can, and then when their age is four or five, they're gonna come back to spawn in the river they were born, spawn, and then perish. Young may migrate downstream to lake or remain in the stream for one to two years. Chinook adults feed exclusively on other fish species. Rainbow smelt and alewife are two of their favorites, and juveniles feed mainly on aquatic insects. Chinook can live up to five years old. Adults are usually 24 to 36 inches long. The Ontario Angler Award minimum length is 36 inches, so a little bit larger than the coho. And the Ontario record weight that we're looking at, a replica of, came in at 46.38 pounds. A beautiful Chinook fish. If you're going to go out fishing for Chinook, you're going to need a boat if it's not spawning season. They're going to be out in the deep water basins of the large lakes. You're going to want to troll from a boat with spoons or plugs. If you don't have a boat yourself, you can charter a fishing guide and they'll take you to spots where they will be and they'll have all the gear. Uh, it will cost some money, but you're likely to land a, a fish and have a great day on the water. During the fall when they're spawning, they concentrate around larger rivers. Float fishing is a popular method among river anglers. In order to land a Chinook, you're gonna need a heavy action rod so that it won't break when they start fighting you because again, they're a large fish, especially in the rivers when they come back to spawn. You're gonna want strong fishing line and a large net to safely land them. Uh, a fish this large is quite difficult to handle um, or even half this size is quite difficult to handle. So a net helps you uh, hold on to it while you're getting the hook out of its mouth. And then you'll have a chance for a quick photo or a quick release back into the water. So I hope you have a great time going out there for Chinook if you're in the deep water or in the rivers in the fall and Whatever fish you do catch, whether it's a Chinook or something simple off the dock, uh, please submit it to TackleShare.com and you can win some prizes with our Fish Along with TackleShare program. Have a great day and happy fishing.